So for more, let me turn to Senator Bernie Sanders, independent from Vermont. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. Uh, Senator, where do you stand on what you have heard and the cell job that's going on? And it is. They're trying to make the case to convince the American people that we should have, quote, a limited strike against Syria. Senator, where do you stand? Well, How do you assess it? I'm, I, you know, I'm keeping an open mind, and I want to hear everything the administration has to say, but I would be less than honest with you if I didn't say I had very, very deep concerns about this proposal. And by the way, I can tell you that in my office, the phones are uh, bopping off the hook there, and almost unanimously, people are opposed to what the president uh, is talking about. And here are my concerns, Ed. There are a number of them. Uh, number one, you know, the Congress, as everybody knows, is significantly dysfunctional today. And in the midst of a collapsing middle class, high unemployment, low wages, global warming, and all of the other major problems our country faces, we're not dealing with them today. And what do you think happens if we get involved in a war in Syria, where all of the attention will be, how are we going to address the major problems facing our people. That's issue number one. Issue number two, the president talks about a surgical strike, limited engagement, but listen carefully to what people like Senator McCain are talking about. That's not what they're talking about. They're talking about regime change. They're talking about overthrowing uh, Assad. And that means billions and billions of dollars, and if the effort does not go well, sometime in the future it could it could mean american troops on the ground third point you know we talk about a world of law uh, i have real concerns about the united states acting uh unilaterally without the united nations without nato without the international community i think that sets a terrible precedent for other countries in years to come to take similar action. And what are we going to say if Russia or China yeah. goes to war? Is, Senator, aren't you so concerned? Those are some of the concerns. Yeah, absolutely. Aren't there, are, and of course, who's going to pay for all of this stuff? Can you trust the Republicans that they're not going to come back and say, well, gosh, we spent a bunch of money on Syria. We got to go after the big three. We got to have offsets. This is not, this is not a good scenario that's playing out. Your thoughts on that? Ed, you're exactly right. Our Republican friends have made it very clear. They're not going to ask the wealthy or large corporations to pay more in taxes. They already want to cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. What may well be happening is the cost of this war may be paid for by more kids being thrown off of Head Start, senior citizens being thrown off Meals on Wheels programs, educational programs being cut. Yeah. The Republicans would go in that way to pay for this war. That's clear to me. Well, there's consequences in elections. There's also consequences to war. And by, uh, a belt tightening at home is not where the American people are right now. We're looking for investment into what we need to do to keep this country going. Senator, are you concerned that more countries aren't on board? We talk about a moral obligation. Yeah. We hear all of that. We talk about our image in the world. Does that mean anything? I mean, more countries just aren't jumping on this action. Ed, what I worry about is what the United States is becoming. We're not a leader in the world in health care, in education, in infrastructure, but we are becoming the leader in the world, the policemen of the world. And other countries are saying, hey, you guys pay for it. We are now spending militarily almost as much as the rest of the world combined. Meanwhile, other countries guarantee health care to all of their people. Yeah. So I do worry very much right. uh, about the United States going forward alone. I think it's a very bad precedent. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time being on The Ed Show. I just want to point out that I don't think that the 21 senators that voted against...